I recall. You, that's what your recollection was. Ah, yes. A couple of days after. A couple of days after. And now after seeing the statement, you realize that it was four months later. Right? You say what? The statement you gave to police. That's you're telling me it was four months? It was four months. Me? Pardon me? You're telling me you're asking me. I'm asking. That don't make sense. For you to ask me if I'm told you it was three to four days after they died. Why are you asking me if it was four months? If I just told you. Okay. So, um, in the statement that you gave to police back then, you claimed that you uh, had gotten into the red vehicle in the rear seat, right? Just five years ago. To the best of my knowledge, yeah, that's what it was. But what I said. You're saying the statement was a few days after, right? What did you do? The statement that you gave to the police was a few days after the incident? Yes. And you said then that you had gotten into the rear of the red vehicle? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Okay. And then you watched this trial unfold on TV over the last couple of weeks, right? You didn't watch any of this trial? I watched it, but I didn't watch it unfold or whatever you're trying oh. to say. Okay. You watched this on TV, this trial? On my phone. Okay. And you saw a video of yourself get into the red vehicle, right? Correct. And you learned that your, the statement that you gave a few days after the incident was wrong. Because I said I was in the back and I was in the front. Yes, exactly that. That piece? Yes, that piece. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so your recollection had begun to fail you only a few days after the Objection. incident as regards that issue, at least. Objection to counsel testifying, Mr. Padre. You forgot where you sat in the vehicle a few days after. Objection to counsel testifying. Oh, oh. We can answer. Answer what? That question. Is that correct, sir? Did I forget? Did you forget? Or did I have made a mistake and say I was in the back and remember that I was in the front? So when, when you told the law enforcement officers that you had gotten into the back of the vehicle a few days after the incident? That's what I thought. To the best of my knowledge. That's what you thought. Okay. And when you got to Melly's house that morning, you had a key? Did you have a key? No, I didn't. Did you? No, I didn't. Who had a key? I don't know. You know of anybody having a key to Melly's house? I don't know. Okay. But you did gain entrance to that house that morning when you were leaving after you left the studio. Yeah. Okay. And then you said you just went and crashed and went to sleep in Juby's room. Right? Factual. Okay. And you were awakened by your friend Drew. I did not say that. Were you awakened by your friend Drew? I said I was waiting by phone calls. Okay. Do you recall now being asked this question and giving this answer? Objection to improper impeachment. Oh. Question by the detective then. And so when you first saw Drew, when did you see him? Where did you see him at? Your house or Fredo's house? Answer, at the house in Miramar. The, at Melly's house. Okay. He woke me up. He woke me up. It was like, come to the hospital. You said that. 
I don't recall. Don't recall. Okay. When we spoke to you last week, you said you were awakened by phone calls from Christopher Thomas's mom, right? Plenty of phone calls. Different and for me, different people. Different people. And the one that you answered was Ricky. So you were awakened by a phone call from Ricky. To the best of my knowledge. So as you recall it today, Ricky is the one that woke you up with phone calls, not Drew that woke you up in person. Correct. Okay. So you you smoke a lot of marijuana, right? Possibly. Well, you smoke it anytime you get a chance, I think is how you phrase it. It's your answer, yeah. That was your answer. I smoke when I smoke. You smoke when you smoke? Yeah. And when's that? When I smoke. And when was that? When I smoke. How many times a day? Objection to ask and answer. Overruled. Twice, three times, maybe. Okay. And on the night, in, before you got to the studio, um, I have another question. Thank you. I should have. Jocelyn, is there any rebirth? One moment, Your Honor. Thanks, Dan. Yes, sir. Last week, after 12, remember the admonition do not discuss the case, don't form any opinion about the case, don't allow anyone to discuss the case in the presence. Uh, and certainly no research. We'll see everybody back at, uh, let's say, 1 30. All right? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Keep going, Desmond. Cheers.